Okay. An enhanced lunge and slash ring. Fantastic. Oh, let's light this one and see what happens. Solace. If you don't mind. And even if you do. Okay, nothing happened that time. Oh, sure. Light it. Whatever, dude. Whatever you feel like you need to do, you just go right ahead and do it. Light. What happens if I just go ahead and light this one right now? Light. Huh. This released a whole bunch of dudes. That probably wasn't a very good idea, really. Because there are a lot of them now. Let's use this flask. Oh, somebody right next to me. He's frozen now. And now he's dead. Who else wants some of this? He's dead. Ooh, there's a revenant over here. Oh, he's taking a beating. A little concerned about that. A little bit. Not much. Alright, let's get this guy. Let's finish him off. Come on. He's running. He's trying. But now he's dead. And what do we got over here? Corpse Archer. Nice job, team. Nice job. That was a good, good show of teamwork right there. Ooh, Estwatch Guard Shield. Oh, that's kind of neat. I might see if that's better than the one that Cassandra is currently using. She's the only person in my party who uses a shield. Corpse Heart. Sure do have a lot of those. Don't think I've ever used one. Um. I thought I saw something. Guess not. So now this floor is here, which is kind of nice. Let's read this first. Read. The Emerald Knights cry for the past. It shall claim us all. For here rest our saviors newly slain. Others lie beyond our reach, so we remember. Let the true name burn away and enter Dinan Henin, the place where glory ends. Andral, whose song inspired. Soren, with bow in hand. Siona, who kept the bridge. Talim, who saved the child. Rin, who led them out. Elan, who kept watch. Elendrin, whom we betrayed. A blank space follows the names, as if more were to be carved. <laughs> Interesting. Let us take this, whatever this is. Oh, interesting. Oh my gosh, I have a choice. I could either sell the histories to the Chantry or return the histories to the Dalish. The death of Elendrin. Elendrin, our brother. Felendine guide you. Maker guide you. Let here the truth be kept, lest you be remembered a traitor, or our sorrow seem a passing woe. Though you swore to serve our people, there were those questioning your heart. Too often we had fought with humans along our borders until the beginning was lost to memory. Rumors of an abduction stirred. As always, their chantry was swift to spread lies. In haste and anger, they killed Siona's sister for wandering too near the hunter's path. You carried her body back to us. You mourned with us, yet your heart was distracted. Siona begged for vengeance, and you turned away. More and more you vanished without word or explanation. When whispers rose that you would swear yourself to their maker, we feared what would come. Siona sought to save you, to bring you back to us. She had lost a sister. Must she also lose a brother? Beneath the trees she saw you with a woman, the one who turned you from us. The woman gestured toward the village. You and she turned to gaze upon the Chantry's walls. Siona returned. She told us how humans were turning you against us, how their lies must have filled you. As a loyal servant to the Maker's cause, would you betray our secrets? When we went to ask if there was truth in this, you were already gone. So we sought to stop you. With haste, Siona led her people to the village. There we would challenge you. There we would bring you back to us or to justice. In the dim of a moonless night, she saw Siona through the trees. She raced towards Siona, a cry on her lips and something in her hand. Siona's arrow flew, so the woman fell, the name Alandrin dying on her lips, daisies slipping from her grasp. The men of the village suspected the girl's flight and heard the scream. They fell upon the elves, but were no match. Siona's haste surpassed your own. You knelt beneath the trees, blood-soaked petals clinging to your clothes from a final embrace. When more humans came, 
you would not be moved, and they would not listen. Their arrows found your heart, and you fell beside her. We found your body in the river where they cast you aside. She was taken by her own. It was not the end, but your part is past. Rest now, as our honored brother once more, a wreath of daisies at your brow, the letter she carried in your hand. Whoever guides you, whoever guides her, may your souls meet, meet once more in the beyond. Faded blood stains the letter. Adeline, what care have I for gods I have never seen, for a maker I do not know? Let others distract themselves with such lofty concerns. I know only this life. I have seen only this world, and I care only for you. Perhaps your priestess distrusts the sincerity of uncivilized elves. If she must hear me say, I will follow the maker, so be it. Your god intercedes as much as ours. My life will not change. I will return in two weeks' time. My heart longs for you till then, and I will remain with you forever after. Elendrin. So Wasn't that a the Red Crossing. Oh. When the elves attacked that town, it prompted the exalted march of the Dales. Oh my. Taven would want the Dalish to have this. I imagine the Chantry would be interested in it as well. Hmm. So we have a choice to make, it would seem. The Knight's Tomb. The histories of Red Crossing shed considerable light on a contentious era of human elven history. Return the histories to the Dalish, or sell them to the Chantry. Oh my. Oh my. Well, I guess that's all there is to do here. Uh, let's get out of here. Have I been up here? Uh, let me just make sure. That's interesting. Probably the remains of one of my party's spells. Yeah, looks like I can't get up there. Alright, that's fine. Let's get out of here. Or at least try to. Oops. Yeah, we'll get out this way. I wonder if there's going to be more Venatori waiting for us out here on our way out. Give us what you found. I wonder if we energize these if anything will happen. Let's see. Hey, uh, Solace, would you mind? Appreciate it. Let's see. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. I mean, why else would there be four braziers here? Nothing there. Get out of my way. Oh, and this one's missing. Hey, okay. nothing going on there. All right, let's see if we can't get out of here. All right, uh, we can exit right here. Let's see. There was a supply cache in one of these rooms, but it's not that big of a deal, because as soon as we get out of here, we're going to return to camp anyway. I feel pretty good about this place. Let's get out of here. We came what we... We came. We got what we came for. Oh, maybe this isn't the way out. I thought this was the way out. All right, let's go up here. Why do we want to energize this one? Let's see what happens if we energize it. Hmm, nothing. All right. And it shows that there's um, a locked door here, but I think I've already opened it, so I don't know why it's showing up. Uh, it's beneath us. I remember. It's beneath us. So, don't think that we need to go down there again. Let's see here. Yeah, let's get out of here. And hope that my search feature starts working again. Let's see where this takes us. Back in Elgernon's Bastion. So, 
We have a choice. We could either return this to the Dalish, or we could sell it to the Chantry. The word sell makes me think that selling it to the Chantry is not a good idea. Okay, so we could either go to Val Royo or the Exalted Plains. So I'm going to guess Val Royo is where we would go if we wanted to sell it to the Chantry. The Exalted Plains is where we would go if we wanted to give it to the Dalish. I kind of wish I could talk to my party members about it and see what they think about it. Don't know if going back to Skyhold would be a good idea or not. Um, you know, there is something that I want to do, though. Uh, so here's this little thing, right? I'm going to travel back here because there is some Crystal Grace. Where would it be? I think it's up here. There's some Crystal Grace here. So let's travel back here. See if we can't find some Crystal Grace. So we could finish this tiniest cave quest. Uh, I think I want to go up and to the right, I think. I think that's what we want to do. So my search is working again, it looks like. That's reassuring. So, I think we come down here, and what was this? It's down here. Yeah, let's go down here. Don't, that's all rash vine. I'm not interested in that. I want some crystal grace. It's down here. Down here and let's see. Yeah, it's hard to remember where this was, where this quest was. I think it was I, th I think. Or was it here? It was somewhere right on this ridge. Yeah, it might be up through here. Let's go look. There it is. Okay, cool. Here's some Crystal Grace. Okay, we need one more Crystal Grace. I don't know where any more is right off the top of my head. Here's some Rash Vine Vettel. Nettle, that what I need? That's not what I need, though. Speak! nettle. Um, I wonder if I leave this area and come back, will the uh, Crystal Grace show up? Let's see. Let's just travel from here. Just real quick. We'll go to this world map. Um, we'll just travel back to Skyhold real quick. Okay. And, um... The only thing I wanted to do really was just travel directly back. But while well, I'm here, let's go run and talk to Solus real quick and see if he has anything to say about this information that we've just gathered. Let's let's, let's go check in on him. Hey, Solus, how's it going there, buddy? My friend. Investigate. Uh, I'd be interested in hearing your opinions on elven culture. Perhaps you could ask Sarah. She has opinions. Um, you don't seem to like her. You don't much care for Sarah, do you? I pity her. Although I imagine she would detest that. Perhaps in truth, I envy her. Really? She has a purity of purpose that I lack. I have observed too much and done too little. What do you wish to know? Well, um... Wow, my goodness gracious. Why don't you tell me about ancient elves? I'd like to know more about the elves from before our time. The daily strive to remember Halam Shiral. But Halam Shiral was merely a fumbling attempt to recreate a forgotten land. Arlathan. Elvanan was the empire. And Arlathan its greatest city. A place of magic and beauty. Lost to time. Hmm. Huh. What else? You've studied ancient elves. What else do you know of Arlathan? We hear stories of them living in trees. 
and imagine wooden ramps or Dalish airvels. Imagine instead spires of crystal twining through the branches, palaces floating among the clouds. Imagine beings who lived forever, for whom magic was as natural as breathing. That is what was lost. Hmm, interesting. What about the Dalish? I'd like to know more about the Dalish elves. It is a mistake to think of the Dalish as a single group. They have lived as separate clans for centuries now. As a consequence, each clan has learned, interpreted, and forgotten different parts of elven history. Some trade freely with humans, or adopt city elves who flee the alienages. Others attack humans on sight. What about city elves? What can you tell me about elves living in human cities? The culture in alienages or among the slaves of Devinter is like any of the impoverished and powerless. They cling to memories of a better past and practice a few rituals to distinguish themselves from humans. What about elven magic? Is elven magic different from the magic used by humans? No and yes. Magic is magic, just as water is water, but it can be used in different ways. Dalish magic is more practical, not needing Chantry approval, although they still frown on blood magic. Superstition. Much of it is more subtle. A legacy from when elves were immortal. Mm, special. Um, was immortality due to magic? Legends of elven immortality. Did they use magic to increase their lifespan? No. It was simply part of being elven. The subtle beauty of their magic was the effect, not the cause of their nature. Some spells took years to cast. Echoes would linger for centuries, harmonizing with new magic and in an ending symphony. It must have been beautiful. Hmm. Huh. Uh, what about blood magic? You said that the censure against blood magic was a superstition. I did. It's fortunate Cassandra is not within earshot. Hmm. Most modern cultures forbid blood magic. Publicly, even Devinda disapproves of it. But as I said, magic is magic. It matters only in how it is used. Uh, yeah, I don't mind it. To be honest, I don't see it as different from any other magic. It's a means to an end. Indeed. The problem is that under the Chantry, blood magic is forbidden, so only criminals practice it. While in Tevinta, magisters compete with each other instead of keeping their volatile friends in check. They always succeed through power, so they have never had the chance to learn another way. Hmm, nice talking to you. We'll talk later. Goodbye. So let's travel back to the Emerald Graves real quick. And we'll see if that... Um, Crystal Grace is there, if it's grown back. Let's just check it out real quick. Oh, I have to choose my party. Well, we'll just stick with the party I had before. Oh, yeah, we have a black wall. And Solace. Okay, so we'll take a quick run up here, back to where we saw the Crystal Grace before. And hopefully some more will have grown, and then we can finish off this tiniest cave quest. Hope that we don't encounter a great bear on the way. Because they can be pretty nasty. Yeah, if the Crystal Grace isn't here, we'll just come back later some other time. After some real world time has passed. Uh, oh, I, I do need to cross the bridge, I forgot. Okay. Cross the bridge. And we go up here. Yeah, this is right. Oh, come on now. Hey, there it is. Cool. Awesome. Well, let me switch over to that quest. The tiniest cave. Someone or something has stirred inside the tiniest mouth of the tiniest cave in the Emerald Graves. It now demands Emerald Grace. Well, then we, by all means, we shall bring it to it. Return with ten Crystal Grace flowers. Let's return. See what see what happens to the tiniest cave here. Uh, 
What is that? I guess it's just a root or something. Uh, let's see. He's back here. Here we go. Bring faith, bring hope, bring a dream of life. <laughs> That's quite a voice you have there, dude. Let us place it. The stairs. The stairs that go down, way down, way, way down. I'll be there, you'll be there. Okay. The stairs. The stairs, huh? We're supposed to find some stairs. Well. <laughs> yeah. So now we're supposed to find some stairs. Does that even, is that even part of a quest still? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. All right. Well, that is that for the tiniest cave. Uh, actually, I think I read where those stairs actually are. They're somewhere in Empire de Leon, I think. Is that where? But I don't know exactly where. I may actually look it up just to see where it is, because there's no way in the world we're going to find it at this point in the game. I think that normally you may have come to this part of the game earlier and maybe found that quest earlier and then maybe stumbled across the steps later. I don't know. But since we've already been everywhere, I might have to just look that up. But now I'm going to take a break. When we come back, uh, we will uh, conclude this um, Knight's Tomb. We'll decide whether we want to sell the history to the Chantry or return the history to the Dalish. So make sure you tune back in for the next episode. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, won't you consider leaving a like or a comment? Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next episode.